Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk uh, mountain weather ski conditions. It's going to be a good five to seven day stretch here for the west. We've got two different storm systems uh, coming in, uh, one right behind the other with this nice dip in the jet stream and, and strong jet stream winds at that. So we're going to get some pretty significant orographic uh, precip across Utah and even parts of uh, Colorado, especially southwest Colorado extending. And there's actually a few different pockets, I think, of heavy snow that will develop and then southern Utah, even down into Taos. So let's just jump right into the, um, the radar and satellite analysis. So our low pressure is sitting off the coast up in the Pacific Northwest, and it will drop down and then begin to make its move into the interior. Everything you see out ahead of it here, that's just minor stuff kind of riding uh, some of the upper level winds into the west. That's really nothing compared to what's going to be uh, occurring down the road. So let's look at the jet stream. This will be very interesting to see how this plays out. By the time we get into Saturday morning, look at the big dip in the jet. I mean, this is a nice pattern change from where we've been. And the low will be sitting right about here and cranking a lot of wind energy and precip up into parts of Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. And all the way, probably clipping the southern Tetons as well. The Sierra will get two shots of snow, one from this low and one from the next one. So let's talk about that next one. Here we are on Monday. And the next low is right here, and it will basically do the same thing as the first low as it uh, moves through. And then looking at Tuesday, boy, you can really see it. So the low is sitting right here, kind of digging. Look at these jet stream winds. I mean, we're talking 200 mile an hour plus cruising over the top of New Mexico and parts of Colorado. Here's the, uh, the future radar, and we'll just go ahead and step into time. Here's Friday afternoon. You can see the low getting its act together, beginning to make its departure and moving that precip already into Utah and Colorado. By Saturday, you've got snow, Tetons, Wasatch, and into Colorado, really nailing that southwest, uh, those southwest aspects there in uh, Colorado. In fact, I think Crested Butte's on the list for good snow and Steamboat North of Buffalo Pass. Um, this is going to be a good snow producer for those areas. By the time we get into Sunday afternoon, the low is somewhere in here beginning to make its move on away. The next low already dropping into the south, and it will follow a very similar track. By Monday afternoon, there's the next low <laughs> beginning to crank that precip into Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. There's that shield of snow into many of the same places. That is Tuesday afternoon. So snowfall will do this in different stages. By the time we get to Friday afternoon, we're talking about some light accumulations through Colorado and into the Wasatch, looks like Jackson Hole. That's going to be a powder day on Friday into Saturday for sure. Here comes the big accumulation. Look at the Wasatch, and I think these numbers that you see here are probably on the conservative side. Um, just starting to see the big numbers tick up in Colorado. You've got Crested Butte up to Steamboat. You've got the southwest aspects down there in the San Juans of Colorado. Uh, here's Sunday afternoon, a couple of great powder days across Utah and Colorado. Let's look at the next low. Here it is. The numbers start to tick up over the Wasatch, and look at Brian Head starting to go up. Those southwest and western slope aspects of Colorado begin to tick up with the second low. And these are totals, grand totals, by Tuesday afternoon. A Sierra. Look at Brian Head, look at Taos, look at Wolf Creek pushing three feet, Silverton down there, Telluride will get snow out of this, um, Purgatory will do well out of this, look at Crested Butte, probably Aspen Snowmass will be on. You know, you got to think of uh, in term, one of the key uh, uh, indicators when you look at snowfall in mountainous terrain is, well, what's the vector? And uh, Crested Butte is certainly on the plus side, whereas you're pushing wind up over the the Elks down into Snowmass and Aspen, so you're not on the plus side there, but you're still going to get spillover. And so that's why you're seeing some accumulation there in Snowmass and Aspen. But again, this is by Tuesday afternoon. And I got to tell you, these numbers up here in the Wasatch, this has been a really interesting part of all this uh, for me, just kind of seeing the moisture and exactly what the vector is going to be for the Wasatch. You know, it's entirely possible that two feet is conservative. I mean, we could certainly run up off the charts here between uh, Friday night, Saturday, and in the Sunday. We could be pushing over two feet. We could be pushing well over two feet. And by the time we add, start add, adding in that second uh, storm system, I mean, we could be, you know, going two to three feet in some of these spots. So it's something I'll watch very carefully. 
And one of the reasons I just love doing these these forecasts and, and, and on here on these YouTube videos is because you can kind of you can kind of play with the the inner and outer fences statistically, and that's what makes this so interesting to me as a meteorologist. So always appreciate you tuning in here, and uh, we'll talk again a little bit later this week.